Hello, this is John King, and I'm coming to you today with information about credit, and specifically how to improve your credit scores. Credit scores are something that are pretty mysterious to most people. The easiest way I can demystify credit for you is really credit is just about being normal. And I hate to say it, most of us would admit we're far from normal. But the credit reporting system is designed to find the perf perfect person who pays their bills perfectly on time and determine what criteria or traits they have in common. That model changes a little bit over time and it's continuing to be tweaked. But things they look for, for example, are how many credit cards you have open, what the balance is on those credit cards compared to the, the credit limits, um, how much new credit you have, um, how many accounts you have open. There's a lot of factors that come together to determine your credit score. Now a lot of people wonder, gosh, Sean, how do I improve my credit? Well, that's a bit challenging, first and foremost, because I consider credit to be, and, and the idea of how to improve credit, to be very similar to going to your doctor and saying, hey doctor, I've got high blood pressure, and uh, my sister took this pill for high blood pressure, and so I decided to take the same thing because I knew that would work. And the fact is, the prescription that the doctor would give you is not the same as what he'd give your sister, because your medical history is different than your sister's medical history. Well, the same holds true for credit advice. The history of your credit report is different than the history of the credit report of your friends, family, or neighbors. So if somebody says to you, hey, this is a surefire way to fix your credit. You should do this, you should do that, you should do the other thing. The fact is that may have worked for them, but it isn't necessarily the prescription that is right for you. In general, I'll tell you that the things you need to do to maintain good credit is you have to use credit. If you don't use credit, you actually end up having no credit. So you do want to keep accounts open, you do want to use them. Ideally, you keep revolving credit accounts between 20 and 25% of the credit limit. That shows that you're able to maintain self-control, that you're not going to charge up every dollar of what a bank lends to you or gives you as part of your line of credit. I know this is going to sound really simple, but you got to pay your bills on time. That is a huge, huge key. There is no benefit for paying extra. I said that. There is no benefit to paying extra on your bill. If you owe $15 and you pay $30, you don't get double points. There is no benefit. But if you owe $15 and you don't pay it, there's a huge negative. So pay your bills on time is the biggest and most important thing. Should you open accounts? Should you close accounts? Should you ask your bank to decrease your credit limit? Should you ask your bank to increase your credit limit? John, should I pay off my car? All of those questions are specific to your credit background, and I can't answer that question on a video like this. What I can tell you is, give my office a call if you have questions about your credit, if you're looking to purchase a home, or if you're looking to refinance a home, and you're not confident that your credit's where it needs to be, call us today. We will do an evaluation of your credit score. We've got tools that we can run through that will give us uh, uh, planning uh, options to show whether you should open an account, close an account, pay off an account, etc. We're here to help you succeed in home ownership, whether that's through a purchase or a refinance. If you've got credit issues, we're going to help you get there to where you need to be to get your credit better. The last thing I'll say about credit, although a lot of people may disagree with me, I am not a fan of credit repair companies. There's nothing they can do that you can't do for yourself. I can give you similar advice. I won't do the tasks for you. You can pay a credit repair company to do it for you, but the fact is I can give you the advice and you can manage those steps on your own. So if you have any questions about credit or anything else related to buying a home or refinancing a home, give us a call. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.